Today's we are going to be looking at measuring perimeter. Now perimeter is the length that goes all the way around a shape. So to measure perimeter you need to measure every single side of a shape and add them all together. Now to measure a shape when we use our ruler whether we're measuring millimeters or centimeters but remember it's always really important that we start on our zero so that we get an accurate measurement okay so if I have a look at this rectangle here I can put my ruler so the very first line your rulers will have a zero is at the very start of the side I'm measuring so that tells me that this side is five centimeters long I'm gonna write that five Centimeters. Now if we use our knowledge of rectangles, we know that opposite sides are the same length. So that means that this side must also be 5 centimetres. Okay, so now I need to measure the width. So this side is 3 centimetres and eight millimeters. So I can write three centimeters and eight millimeters. And again using my knowledge of rectangles I know the opposite side is the same length. So now I need to add all the sides together. Now because I've got a mixture of millimetres and centimetres, it's going to be easier for me to convert these all into millimetres, which you all know how to do already. So I know that 5 centimetres is 50 millimetres. And I know that 3 centimetres is 30 millimetres, but altogether this is going to be 38 millimetres. So now I need to add them all together. Now just to make sure we don't make a mistake, always do this in two steps. So first, let's add the length. And then my last step is to add both my calculations together. So I can do in my head 100 plus 76 equals 176 millimetres. So if you're at home and you're able to get a piece of paper and a pencil, you can draw your own shape and measure the perimeter. Here is a question for you. This rectangle has been drawn on one centimetre squared paper to calculate the perimeter. That means each square, the length of each square represents one centimetre. So I can count them up to work out the perimeter of this rectangle. So I need to work out the length of this side and the length of this side. So, I can count that there are seven squares going along this side, seven squares going along this side, three squares going along this side, and three along this side. So can you calculate the perimeter? Here's a bit more of a tricky problem for you. What is the perimeter of this shape? Now, I've only been given two lengths. 
but I'm sure you can use your knowledge of rectangles to work out the length of the other sides and calculate the perimeter.